Hey everyone, uh, it's Friday night and I know I said I was getting a first start video out. Uh, I've been trying to do that. It's been kind of a chaotic week uh, as things go with working and uh, kiddos. Got a couple kids sick, stayed home from school the last couple days and just other stuff going on. Um, so I wanted to get this video out. It did start, sounds great. I uh, don't really have a whole lot of footage, but I do have footage of it getting started. And um, like long story short, um, in one of the clips, you're going to see it's about two, three minutes long of us trying to start it. And it wouldn't start and it's backfiring. And that's totally on me. Um, what it turns out to have been was when you put those uh, the the wire looms from the uh, harness that connects your um, LS controller to the harness that connects from the controller to the actual coils themselves, you have to make sure that you have the right wires and the right branches going to the right coils. Because that's basically all it ended up, ended up being was um, number two's coil was on number eight. Number eight was on number two. So if you could just imagine that being flip-flopped. Um, just a simple error. Um, they weren't tagged. Those came off. That Those harnesses came off of the 5.3 when I bought it. And there was no labels on it for driver's side, passenger side. Once I switch those around, as you can see, this thing, little, given a little bit of gas um, at the throttle body itself, it started right up. And it took maybe 10, 15 seconds, and, sh and it starts learning right away. So with all that being said, um, we'll just go right to the video. It's not going to be a long one, but you're going to see the first start. I got more to come. We're doing a lot more with it. Um, now that it started... And um, I hope you join me for the rest of that too. And just a quick shout out to Brandon, one of the subscribers. You're uh, a, a good subscriber, a loyal subscriber. I know you've been waiting for us, man. So it's Friday night. I'm going to make it happen for you guys. So first start video coming up right now. Ready as I'll ever be. First start. It's okay. Try it again. Okay. Do it again. It's all right. If there's some fuel left in there, so go ahead and. Let me just move my seat up really quick. I'm kind of farther back. It, move it up if you're gonna move it up. It won't go up any further. Um, it won't? Nah. Okay. I tried to move it over. Alright. Alright, ready? Go ahead, kiddo. Once it's running, don't turn it off. Again? Keep going. I don't think I'm doing this right. You want to do it? Let's see what's going on here. I don't know where it's coming out of. I think it might just be flooded from the times that I turned the key on. So go ahead and uh, turn the key and just keep it held. No matter what? Yeah, and I'll tell you to, if you should shut it off or not. All right, go ahead and shut it off. Now turn it back, turn it off all the way. Yep, good. Yeah, push it, push down the thing so you can pull the key all the way back. Remember the little tab? Oh, this thing? Yeah. All right, now turn it forward again. Press the clutch again? Yeah, once you're ready to turn it on. Remember, you're gonna turn it to the on position. You're gonna hear the fuel pump prime. 
Okay. Now wait till it turns off. Now push your clutch in. Okay. And give it a turn. All right, go ahead and shut it off. Let the clutch out. You did it. Yeah! It's running, baby. Doesn't sound good? What do you think, dude? It's gonna learn, so don't do anything with it. Just let it do its learning. There it goes.